What is up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You see it behind me. We're doing another episode of What the Truck and this time it is nuts. Justin, what the truck is this? This is my trucking awesome 1974 C750 Camelot Cruiser Coach. That is a mouthful. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't even know where to start on this thing. How did you find it? What exactly is it? Um, it's currently for sale. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's for sale on uh, bringatrailer.com. If you uh, search 1974, it'll pop right up. Um, so a friend of mine and I bought it last November, the Turkey Rod Run here in Daytona, Florida. And we both, without knowing it, walked by it, fell in love with it, and had a conversation about how we wanted to buy it. And we ended up, instead of uh, bidding against each other, said, why don't we just partner up on it and we'll buy it together. And that's what we did. So we've had it for about a year and a month and have had a couple cool little parties and get-togethers and Dude, took it on a little road trip and it is so rad. yeah i mean it's it's 100 percent original all the ha like everything is hand painted i mean it is yeah and that's so the way it was in 74 cool. so it has you can see here what the odometer shows this is the actual miles and it's currently at 32,270. you still see it's holding air pressure we had to move it around earlier Dude, I mean, it literally, you could tell just by the mileage. I mean, it's sleeper. It's the quintessential time capsule. It really, really is, and it's so beautiful. One of the things that I thought was so cool is how it integrates so many different years, but it fits for everything. So it's it like does. A 74, but it doesn't matter what generation, like, stuff you put next to it. This thing is just so cool. Like, I pulled up in Gold Dust, and I'm just like, I thought that's a big truck. It is, and yeah, is... and then you match it up against this. So it's 44-ish thousand pounds. Wow. Powered by a 391, which is a, obviously a heavy truck engine. And it's kind of got a rare automatic transmission, which you don't really see in this era specifically. A two-speed rear end. It's 747 and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty appropriate. <laughs> it is so appropriate. So I said it was 100% original, but the wheels were actually changed. We do have the originals, but just for the ease. A little bit um, safer. Yeah, a little bit safer, new tires. So besides that, and obviously tune up and whatnot, it's, it's original. So tell us a little bit of what we're looking at for the people that aren't 100% sure. All right, so this is considered the basement. You know, you have all your control panels down here, your fuses, this is where the generator sits. Um, you have house batteries right there. A lot of your plumbing is accessible, your wiring is accessible, and you have room for two snowmobiles, which are 100% original. 80 miles on it, uh, it's just over 90 miles on it. Figured out why. Clean them in and out of this thing. <laughs> Four small men and a boy. <laughs> Man, the truck's so big it doesn't fit in frame. Yeah, you gotta get a wide lens on this thing. This is a pretty wide lens. <laughs> I think everybody that's watching is probably itching to see how the inside looks. Yeah, this doesn't do it justice. Once you get in the inside, you really f blow your mind and are fascinated with how original it is. And we got a lot of the things working. You can hear the air conditioning working on the trailer. Air conditioner is now functional, working good. After you. All right. I love the shag. Yeah, the shag is original. So welcome to the interior of the Camelot Cruiser. We have some nice music to set the ambiance. I'm curious if it's copywritten, so I'm just gonna turn it off just in case. Sometimes sure. they're gonna hit me with a music strike. Gotcha. But uh, this is the kitchenette dining room area. Yeah, so the dining room table's over here. You got your little kitchenette, which uh, is functional, including the oven it was functional, propane. Yeah, we had it on before. Yep. Um, refrigerator in the freezer. Tell. never really been used and you have all your kitchen implements over here everything is color matched back then they really knew how to make something luxurious yeah and last this is pretty spooky <laughs> so here you have your control panel with your radio and whatnot so um, another switchboard control panel here is the, the bedroom if you will yeah, so this would be considered the master. Yep. This master is what a bedroom. full size bed. Um, Looks yeah, I guess like it, it is a full. Here's your intercom system, your communication device throughout the entire trailer and to the cab, and it's functional. 
that we were playing with it earlier and uh actually i'm curious if we could hear it we might be able to if you talk in yeah let me go in the other room here and here, let's see if you guys can uh can hear him yes i'm looking for solomon i'm right here can you uh come back yeah only if you bring me a beer <laughs> dude this is so rad so uh secretly not so secretly the reason why i came up here is uh because I'm going to try to buy this, but I don't know. I have a feeling that I might be priced out. So uh, you guys, if what do you think? Should we try to get it? Comment down below. Let's continue this tour. Check out the uh, almost like crushed velvet wallpaper, which is original. You can feel that it's in you know, the crushed velvet shower liner, shower curtain. So this bespoke. bathroom's original. Tile and everything, full size shower. Throne. And you also have a phone by the commode. Of course. To prevent what happened else. Pull over, we need more toilet paper. <laughs> Green toilet paper. <laughs> it's only Not just any color. Fitting. Dude. And this is the party room. Yeah, this is, uh, I guess you could do some business back here. And... It's actually very comfortable. Is it? I didn't think I've sat down on these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could see myself having, I don't know. Brunch. Having some brunch, a little Having bit of bourbon. A little brunch, brunch and a little bourbon. Little entertainment going on. We're all set. Looks like uh, Michael J. Howlett was trying to get governor of Illinois at one point. Yeah, so he used this as his campaign rig and lettered it up appropriately. One of the things that I would love to show some of the people is uh, all the paperwork that you had for this. Sure, a couple cool things too I want to point out before we get there is yeah. it's got pocket numbers, which Probably haven't been opened up since 1974, but get some privacy in here. Yeah, you get some privacy. Oh, you got all kinds. Of oh, and this is cool too. I saw this earlier. You have your little vacuum, if you will. <laughs> Sweeper, I think they call those. And then some implements in here for another oh, high-powered vacuum. vacuum. Heck yeah! But all the linen is still pretty much untouched. Dude, that lion, that is rad. All of them are lions. I didn't even realize that till just now. Yeah, I know, some cool touches. The more you look, the more you see. Um, there's some pretty cool stuff in there too. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, dude. This truck's where it's at. So this is the original brochure, which is really cool. These are like, like they were just printed. Okay. Wow. But they're not. They're from 1974. These are the original brochures, but they look so crisp. But it's, it shows the three off. There was three of them built, and this, from what we can gather, is the third. Wow. So many cool. options. They just let you do whatever you want. Yeah. And this is a pretty cool history. Like, there's this shows an itinerary. This is in 1984. Kind of goes through whatever they were doing at that time. The spotlights, this is a newspaper article, spotlights Dick Elder. Who did the conversion on these? Wow. Like so these were made by Elder and Co, right? Yep. Correct, yep. Wow. And you know the city that they were built in. I thought that was so funny, Skokie, Illinois. That's where my wife's from. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is, folks. <laughs> I when I called you I said hey I'm gonna try to buy this thing can I come look at it of course <laughs> you you're like not only can you come look at it we can make a video I'm sure like, let's do it and there's a lot of stuff that I haven't really gone through here which pretty fascinating I mean a lot of punch cards for what not totally sure but it's appropriate for this rig for some reason June 75 family motor coach and magazine just a lot of history Oh, wow. And it really has sat up until, you know, the last few years it's been discovered. And then in the last year and a half, it's been brought up to speed mechanically to be used. So l tell some of the people that are probably curious a little bit about the mechanics on it. Like every single thing's been gone through. What's the last time you road tripped it? Like Yeah, so the last road trip we took would be, I guess, in um, December of 20. One, so it's been a while. We've both kind of been busy and haven't had a chance to really get it out. But um, prior to that, in November of 22, it took a road trip in 
from Ohio down to Daytona, Florida to the rod run. So it, you know, it, it got its exercise on that trip. And then um, Bill and I, who's my business partner on this on this unit, we drove it from Daytona Beach, Florida to Osprey, Florida, where it is now. And that was a it was a pretty good road trip, 300 plus miles. Um, and then we took it down to uh, another local event that we had just to kind of show it off. So it's had you know, 1,500, 1,700 miles in the last year and a half, which is pretty impressive, and no mechanical hiccups. Um, there were a lot of things that were done to bring it up to speed, so we didn't have any issues, and fortunately, the guy that we had bought it from did all that, so we didn't really have to do much mechanically ourselves. But it's to the point now where if someone wanted to jump in it and brave enough to drive it somewhere, it most likely would make it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it does. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do something with it, and... Uh, if not, you guys, make sure, head over to uh, Bring a Trailer, check it out, just type in 1974 C750, it's the only one on there. Uh, anywhere else for them to get a hold of you or? Yeah, so my business name is Krobs Classics. Um, you can contact me with a simple Google search, K-R-O-B-S, Classics with a K, and my number will pop up. Awesome. Well, you guys, make sure to drop a comment. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.